everyone. A question I get asked often is, what to do with the ashes after a cremation? The Catholic Church has banned the scattering of ashes of the dead, insisting that in some circumstances, those who request it for themselves should even be denied a Christian funeral. Strict new Vatican guidelines forbid a list of increasingly popular means of commemorating loved ones from scattering ashes at sea to having them turned into jewellery or put in a locket, dismissing them as new age practices and pantheism. A formal instruction approved by Pope Francis even forbids Catholics from keeping ashes in an urn at home other than in grave and exceptional cases. It also rules out the increasingly common practice of dividing people's ashes between members of the same family. The document issued by the Vatican's doctrinal watchdog, the Congregation for the Doctrine of the Faith, claims that many modern cremation practices increasingly reflect non-Christian ideas about fusion with Mother Nature. In order, it goes on to say, in order that every appearance of pantheism, naturalism or nihilism be avoided, it is not permitted to scatter the ashes of the faithful departed in the air, on land, at sea, or in some other way, nor may they be preserved in mementos, pieces of jewellery or other objects. The Vatican instruction called Ad Resurgendum Cum Christo decreed for centuries that the Catholic Church should forbid cremation altogether, primarily because of the teaching that Christians will be raised from the grave ahead of the Day of Judgment. Now we all know that this ban was finally lifted in 1963 in a landmark Vatican document which accepted that there were often pressing social and sanitary needs for cremation. But having said that, it urged Catholics to choose burial wherever possible. The new guidelines accept cremation in principle, but signals a clampdown on increasingly varied uses for ashes, insisting instead that they should only be kept in a sacred place, such as a cemetery. And it goes on. The Church cannot condone attitudes or permit rites that involve erroneous ideas about death, such as considering death as the definitive annihilation of the person, or the moment of fusion with Mother Nature or the universe, or as a stage in the cycle of regeneration, or as the definitive liberation from the prison of the body. It goes on. In order that every appearance of pantheism, naturalism or nihilism be avoided, it is not permitted to scatter the ashes of the faithful departed in the air, on land, at sea or in some other way, nor may they be preserved in mementos, pieces of jewellery, or other objects. It then adds that if someone has asked for their ashes to be scattered for reasons contrary to the Christian faith, then a Christian funeral may be denied to that person. I hope that helps to clarify the matter. Thank you all very much for listening and God bless you all. Oh